Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon and welcome to the Using a Web Browser to Control My Nikon tutorial. This tutorial is going to take a look at how you could use any web browser, whether it's on your computer or on your laptop or a smartphone or any kind of tablet to control Control My Nikon. And uh, it's actually quite easy to do. This functionality is built in the Control My Nikon and it really allows you to, to control your camera remotely. Now I have a, a diagram up here and let's just take a look at what's involved in setting up Control My Nikon to get this all to work. First of all we have uh, Control My Nikon here and let's just say it's installed on this laptop and it's connected to a camera. Now typically on your computer you're going to have some kind of a firewall and uh, we'll talk a little bit about what needs to go through this firewall in a minute but we're going to be using a web browser either on a computer that goes through a wired network or a computer that goes over the internet or a computer or um, a smartphone or an iPad uh, that is going to go through a wireless router. So let's start up Control My Nikon and we'll see how we set it up. What we need to do first is go up to the trigger menu and select web. So here's our web trigger right here. What we need to do is specify an IP address and a port. What the web trigger is, is a web server. You're actually running a web server within Control My Nikon and web browsers will connect to this web server. So you need to specify an address that your web server will listen to and by default it's 127.0.0.1 on port 80. 127.0.0.1 is also known as the home address. Uh, if you were to try to access this web server from a web browser on the same computer, 127.0.0.1 will find it. And let's uh, give it a try. So uh, we don't even need to have the Control My Nikon connected to your camera yet. All we need to do is press Enable. I'm just going to move this over here and then test. Now this is going to bring up your default web browser and here it's bringing up Internet Explorer and this is a web page that has been served up by this and you can see at the very top it went to http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 and on this web page are all the different commands for Control My Nikon. So if you wanted it to shoot, you can make it shoot. If you wanted to connect, you can make it connect. And, and let's do that now. You can see it's not connected. So I'm going to click on connect. And there it is. It connected. And we try and disconnect. And it disconnected. Okay, let's try that again. Let's connect. And we're going to tell it to shoot. And it brought back our image. Quite often when you are using the web browser you want to do it on another device. Let's see what we can do about that. If I wanted to run a web browser on another computer across the network such as we see in the diagram here, let's say you wanted to run a web browser on this computer here. It's going to go through a router, through your network, through your firewall and it'll go to a control my icon. We'll need to set a different IP address up because 127.0.0.1 is not going to work if you're going from a different computer. We need to find out what is the IP address of the computer that is hosting Trollman Icon. And to do that, let's bring up the command prompt. Type in CMD. And this is just your Windows operating system command prompt. And type in ipconfig. So this tells you some information about your network configuration. Now there's a lot of information on here, but what I'm looking for is my IP address. And here it is right here, 192.168.0.198. And I have a router that gives me that IP address. I want to use 192.168.0.198. So I'm going to disable my server, 
go 192.168.0.1 one nine eight and re-enable it okay let's give it a try now even from the same computer we could test it here's a web browser same one I had before but you'll notice the address is using this address now and we could shoot with it okay now let's try it on a different device here I have an iPad and an iPhone. We'll try it on the iPad first. So on the iPad I have Safari and this iPad is going to be connected through my wireless router, through my firewall, and back into Control My Icon. So as we can see at the top here we have the 192.168.0.198 address and I'll press the shoot button and you can see it refresh and it captured an image so this iPad is connected wirelessly through the network and it sees the control my Nikon web server okay now let's try something a little bit different. We'll put away that iPad and we'll try the iPhone. So same idea here. The iPhone is just a little mini iPad. We use Safari. We load up the web page with the same 192.168.0.198 address. And we shoot. Now it's a little bit smaller here on the iPhone screen so you can flip it horizontal if you need to it gives you a bit more space or you could pinch to zoom alright so there we see it works on the iPad and the iPhone if you have an Android based device a tablet or a smartphone as long as it has a web browser it will work and this is a very basic web page that it serves up it's not very fancy so it works on basically any web browser Now let's talk about this firewall. Uh, by default, uh, quite often when you install your operating system, it'll set up a firewall and it may restrict access to anything connected to port 80. So if you have set this up, and usually the, uh, the, the best way to test that is in, in this manner here, use your uh, external IP address, is to uh, see if you can connect. And if you can't, then go to your firewall configuration in your operating system and open it up and allow it to go to uh, port 80 request inbound. And if all else fails, you could turn your firewall off, but uh, it's best not to do that. It's best to configure your firewall uh, to only allow uh, access to that particular port. Now, if you're a little nervous about opening up port 80, what you could do is just change this to any port you like. So let's say it's 5000 and I'm going to enable it. Okay so now I'm going to test and by default the test didn't work and here's what I need to do. I need to specify the port 5000. Hit enter and there we go. So if you're using a non-standard port or any port other than 80, you need to type it in up here on the URL. Okay, let's take a look at the trigger log. Now this log records all activity for external triggers. And we could see where the web server was started, connected, disconnected, where the user uh, wanted to shoot and shoot so uh, all this information is kept here and it's good for troubleshooting because it could be that you're having problems uh, getting your web browser to connect to this web trigger server and then you can just check your trigger log to see if, uh, if the commands are coming through. And you can also clear it out just like this. So I'm going to disable it, enable it, and there we go. So that's how you set up a web trigger 
in Control My Nikon. Very easy to do. You could use different devices and that allows you to have another way to remote control your camera. Happy tethering.